So last night, that boy Uncle Demi hosted the Twitter space, man, and there was a lot of talk about a lot of things, and we're going to get into that in one second, man. Some people think the game is dead. Some people think that everybody just uses the game as a crutch. Some people feel like that nobody even likes the game. We're going to talk about all that in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to get this thing popping and get these think pieces going, man. I just saw it. I just happened to pop across Swante's stream last night, and they were talking about it, man. So we're going to talk about it today. So uh, let's just get right into it, man. <laughs> y'all know what it is, man. So check it out. Look. I don't have any other any other video. I don't have any other stuff. We're just gonna free ball it and go and just go right off the top of the dome, man. So more or less, the conversations that they were having was how the 2K community works, uh, how nobody really likes the game, how people just really can't stand the game and they just play it just to play it or what have you. And uh, that's where we at with it. I beg to differ. I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. This is probably a lot of people feel like this might be one of the worst 2Ks ever. I feel like this is one of the best 2Ks. Listen, bro, we still doing numbers, regular numbers in June. It is June the 28th. Boy, I just looked at Brute last few videos, man. This dude still consist consistently hitting 10K, 20K. Your video yesterday hit like 19. It's at 19 and moving, and he just dropped another one. That thing is at three already. Like, a lot of the times, the game isn't dead. And nothing is wrong with the game. The game is still a good game. It's just the subject matter. Look at that boy pass. That boy lethal shooter. Trades up. Splash down. I feel like a lot of times, like, look, we're we going to get to that last part in a second. But I feel like a lot of times, man, it's, it's just the voices or the powers that be. A lot of times you got dudes, like, if you come out here and say, this game is bad, it's dead, it's this, it's that, and you're one of the more popular voices or what have you, then a lot of times the community is going to follow that. They're gonna follow that, and they're just gonna say that, they're gonna say the same narrative, just like every year we talk about steals broken, we don't want left writing, we don't want this and that. You know, they said, look, last year, like a lot of y'all always say in the comment section, y'all like, y'all asked for all, all greens or nothing, and now people complaining. I'm cool with green or nothing. My thing is, I don't understand why is it so difficult for everybody else to, that's been playing the game the entire time, to adjust to green or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Why Why did it take so, why is it taking so long for people to adjust to the adrenaline boost? Why do we feel like 2K needs to drop a game that 2K is responsible for us gaining subs, popularity, and all that off of their game. Like, 2K got to make a better game, and then we can all blow up. Why is it? Why is that even a thought? I've always thought to myself, listen, if I put out good content and I'm doing something that people actually want to see and, and want to tune into, then I will get the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll get it myself. I, I'll I'll get I'll get growth. I'll get this and that. And then when we talk about the game in that good and not that many people are on the game and everybody runs back to current gen and all of that good stuff. Listen, man. All of that stuff is false. We got the numbers. We got the data. It's out there. You can see that there are more players. You can go to the, I can go to the park right now on 2K. I guarantee almost every park is hopping. I'm going to do that at the end of this video or wherever I go to. Games are running. People are playing the game. There are more people on next gen than current gen. A lot of times, I think that we just have to come, we just have to, come to the realization that if we... If, if, if you're not growing like you feel like you're growing, it might be a you problem. And then at the same time, the audience just might not, it might not be the same audience that's there. And that's fine, but that's not a 2K problem because we got more people on the game than ever. More people spending more money than ever. Like, like more people on next gen than ever. All those things are the case. But like I said, I think a lot of times what it is is that people use 2K as a crutch, as an exit strategy. I'm gonna get on the game, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get on that blow up, and then they already planning to, to go to the next level. I'm gonna start, start dropping IRL content because that seems to be the natural progression of it. And they think that, you know, other people don't care about it or what, or what have you, and then so those bigger voices, they just assume that they're gonna get up out of the community and blow up and then, and then you get, you get end up, you get end up stuck in the community. It's like, nope, you didn't blow up this year, get your ass back on this game. That's what you're going to do. Oh, I'm going to blow up next year. You didn't blow up next year. Get your ass back on the game. That's how it is. And so, like, I feel like instead, when you're looking at something, it's like going to a job and you're always looking like, I'm going to be supervising one day, so I ain't even worried about this. No, you got to put in the work where you are so that when you get up there, then you can you can know what you're going to do. Maybe you're not going to go to the next game. Maybe you're not going to go do IRL content. You might be like Joe Knows. Joe Knows, he, hey, he up there. He stays in, he stayed in the community. Badgy Pluggy, he up there. He stayed in the community. A lot of people 
have grown off of 2K and got up there. And if the opportunity presents itself to go to do IRL content and stuff, I'm sure that that's what they're gonna do. But that opportunity is not gonna be presented for everybody. So I, that's, that's why it kind of irks me when people come in, bad mouth the game, and they're doing it thinking that they're gonna move on to something else. But that is not the case. Most of the time, it's not gonna be the case. It ain't the case. It's not gonna be the case. Now, for nine times, nine out of 10 of us, that's not gonna be the case. My boy Shake over a million subs, still, still plays 2K, still does all that stuff. So that's not necessarily true, but it is true for a few, a certain few individuals where they can get on here and hey, you know, they're gonna blow up, they're gonna do our real content like Cash Duke and all them guys. That, but that's not their path. Ain't everybody's path. You can't look at somebody and say, okay, he came in there, he was boss day one. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was, uh, he came in there like, like me at this job. I came in, I was, I was. Uh, I was a support analyst for a year. Next thing you know, they moved me to the networking team in less than a year. Like that's not gonna happen to everybody because everybody's not gonna come in with the bevy of knowledge that I have. So every just because somebody else did it, you don't always, you can't always feel like, well, I'm gonna be able to do it because he did it or what have you. He ain't no better than me or what have you. I, I understand the thought process, but at the same time, I gotta understand, am I willing to put in the type of work that he put in in order to do it? So, you know, it, 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 it kind of bothered me a little bit because, and at the same time, you know, they were talking about them were saying, you know, well, if the community, if we didn't bash and bad mouth the game and stuff like that. And um, I think a lot of people felt like, you know, that's just per community because Demi has a positive community and, and he has, he, he doesn't talk bad about the game. I got a positive community. I don't talk bad about the game. Brute got a positive community. He doesn't talk bad about the game. But at the same time, we also have a grown up community. A lot of people got, got a kid's community. Like when you got a, a grown up community, like most of us have, then a lot of times those people are gonna come in, they're gonna form their own opinions. Like if I ask y'all, y'all let me know down in the comment section, how do y'all feel about 2K? I feel like this is one of the better 2Ks. I'm still playing it, I'm still having fun with it. I feel like I found a lot of things and I'm ready for the next one, but I can still play this one. This game is still, you still getting views in June and I ain't put up a video in a minute. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I moved, I went on a cruise, I did all that. My daddy had heart surgery. He didn't have heart surgery, he had a heart transplant he got a whole nother heart and all this stuff i've been dealing with but guess what i can still come back drop a video and y'all still showing me showing me hella love and so i can't i can't tell y'all that this game is anything i've been i've been in what in the community i've really been in the community since 2008 2009 ish or whenever i did you know when i used to do me versus me on machine on sports and all that stuff so i've been in the community for quite a while but i've never seen a crazy amount of growth. As a matter of fact, I'm just now about to hit a 100K with this next, with, with probably with 2K24. And so, like, I, I just look at it like this. A lot, I'm sorry I hit the mic, but a lot of us, man, we do this stuff, we get mad, but we ask for all of these things in 2K, and then the, 2K gives you the opportunity to shape the game, and then we, we make the game how we want it to be. You, you know, uh, we want a better skill gap. We want them to stop left, right. So they figure out a way to do that or at least at least limit left, right. We want uh, we don't want as many whites to go in. And then we don't want people to be able to use sense. They did all three of those things and they did more. They, uh, yeah, they asked for the steals. Y'all said it's too many steals. They brought the steals down. They, um, you know, we only thing they didn't do is we wanted to get bumpier. And I just don't think that that's anything that they could do about that in this iteration of the game, maybe next time. But we wanted to get bumpier, but they did give us the deal where, where, where we could cut off, um, you know, the defensive deal. And like Zar said, it takes three years to get a good feature. So maybe next year that feature is going to work better where you can't just Westbrook, 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 Westbrook through somebody, even though that, that cone is red right there. You know, maybe they're gonna fix all of that stuff, man, but I just feel like we gotta get 2K a chance. We gave him a good chance. I feel like this is a good start. This is a great foundation. And at the same time, we gotta realize, bro, like me and binary state of mind say, I can see how to build a baseball game. I can see how you build a football game. I can see how you build a, a, a world football game. Y'all call it soccer. I can see how you can build all of that. I can't imagine how difficult the math is to create a basketball game. Jesus, it's got to be crazy. So Mike and all those guys, they have their, they have their um, work cut out for them, but hopefully they get this thing done, man. I'm enjoying the game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying it and also what you would like to see next game and all that good stuff, man. And also the Lakers re-signed Jared Vanderbilt. Jared, you need to go talk, just go talk to Lethal Shooter right now. Just get with him right now. I promise you shot will be, be good by the season because we need you on the floor, baby. But we need you to be able to hit them shots. Contavious Caldwell Pope work with him. Doggone, your boy from, what's his name from, uh, 
of the play with Giannis. He worked with him. Everybody to work with Lethal Shooter. Jared, please go work with Lethal Shooter and get that shot right so you can get, you know, you can be, you know what I'm saying? Be, be, be on the floor all the time because we need you, my boy. I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. And uh, like I said, I got my boy Lethal Shooter in there, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please. Guys, please.